Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Mute out the chatter, Welcome to my channel. If you hear a noise in the background, it's my sister power washing the deck because she's redoing the deck. Today's video is a little bit of a different video because I wanted to kind of connect with you guys. Oh no, my reflector. As you guys may or may not know, I traveled the USA for the past two years in my 1998 Jeep Cherokee XJ. Although it was amazing and a good starter vehicle, obviously it's not something that's sustainable. I truly believe that if you want to go do something, you can go do it. You don't need the best rig, the fanciest equipment, you don't need the most money. You can do things at a very basic level just to get the experience in, and I definitely needed the experience. This second rig that I've gotten is a minor upgrade from that one, but still pretty questionable. <laughs> and this is just the way things go. It's okay to not have the best of the best and to have issues and struggles. This is life, yin yang, you know? I now have a 2011 Toyota Tundra, which I absolutely love and I'm very happy with. I got a 2002 Sunlight Camper, which I'm not so happy about, but I'm trying to do the best with that I can because I know in the future I will upgrade. Okay, no question, but we are trying to make lemonade out of lemon. I'm not trying to make a negative video here in any way, and I don't want to give people attention that don't leave nice comments and things. I thought it would be kind of fun to not answer questions, but kind of my reaction to these comments when you guys leave them. I don't want to discourage you from leaving comments. I absolutely love comments on all my videos. I love to talk to you guys in the comments. Please don't refrain from leaving them. Even if some people leave annoying comments, it's okay. If it's really bad, then yeah, just go somewhere else and harass someone else. But this is just all for fun and I get these comments a lot so I kind of wanted to address them generally. I'm not going to call anybody out in a video to remind you, guys, I'm a human being. Just because my life is online does not mean you can say anything you want. I have to, I have to read a lot about myself or my choices or people's opinions on me, so why can't I say anything? Before we get too far into this video, let's talk about the today's sponsor, which is Ara. Over 2.9 billion records were stolen from national public data which provides personal information to employers and others doing background checks. These stolen records include a person's full name, address, date of birth, phone number, and most importantly, social security number. And members of this hacker group have reportedly released this stuff for free online. It's really worrisome, especially as things progress digitally. I mean, we've never been more vulnerable online than we are like now. But I use Aura. Aura monitors your personal data, including your social security number, across billions of data points like the dark web and public court records to detect and alert you to potential identity theft. They give you up to 5 million in identity theft protection should the worst happen. They also provide you with a bunch of other features to help you stay safe. All in one app. You can use my link, aura.com slash Victoria Rose for 14 days free. And that's plenty of time for Aura to find if any of your data is exposed. Try and stay safe out there. I hope that you get good use out of Aura. Let's get back into today's video. Also in this video, I kind of want to update you on what's going to be happening this month, hopefully, my goals anyways, and maybe show you a little bit of what I'm doing in it. I decided to kind of get as much done as possible without showing it. I know that what it looks really bad, you know, from an outsider's perspective. It looks bad from my perspective, but if you can't really see the vision that I'm that I see that you're just gonna really be critical of it and kind of be discouraging to me in turn. And it's not that I can't handle comments, it's that because I do read them and I do respond to them, it still gets in my head a little bit, no matter, like I'm reading them. I don't want too discouragement, too much discouragement upon myself. The thing I want to say the most in this video is thank you. I get so much more love and encouragement and positivity than any negative comments, okay? I am so grateful for that. And I should be doing a video reading the special amazing comments that you guys leave, but I'm making a video talking about the few annoying comments. Why is that? It's human nature, guys. Come on, like, please don't stop leaving those beautiful comments. Not trying to highlight these, the negative ones. They may not know that their comment is annoying. That's another thing. If I'm saying something that you said in a comment before, don't sweat it. I just want to clear some things up too that I've been getting a lot just with the camper. All right, let's start off with some camper ones. Sell your camper, buy a new one. And I, I'm reacting to these, I'm not necessarily answering them, but for this one, I also want to say something. What people don't understand about maybe me or other influencers or people online that they see, we're not just like a TV show. We don't have an unlimited budget. Me personally as a YouTuber, I don't make a ton of money. Other YouTubers may. I know that some YouTubers make a lot of money. People seem to think that 
money's not like a thing. Like I wouldn't have bought this piece of poop if I had tons of money, guys. Like I would not have done that. And so it takes just a little bit of thinking to remember that the reason that I am fixing this up is because I cannot afford to lose the 3,000 plus dollars that I put into it. And I, a lot of people say, sell it, cut your losses, blah, blah, blah. It's too big of a loss. $3,000 just down the drain, I can't. So that's why I'm trying to do these fixes in a budget way. How it was before when I took the roof off and stuff, I wouldn't have been able to sell it. It's not as simple as sell this and buy a new one. I couldn't sell this. I still, I probably could sell it now. I've already put so much work into it. Why not just use it now? You know, I can, I can at least get some use out of it. But buying and selling things are, isn't, if you've ever done it or done it a lot, you know that it's not simple. It's actually very complicated. One I get very often is why no boyfriend? Do you think life would be easier with a man? You need a man in your life, things like that. And this isn't so much annoying. Well, no, it is kind of annoying, <laughs> but it's, to me, it's kind of funny. Men are saying that. I don't really need to explain why it's kind of annoying. If you really want to know answers on this topic in depth, comment below. I will make a video, not about having a boyfriend, but just like having a man, because I do have things to say. We're just reacting today. <laughs> this one, I don't get like a ton, but I did get it a lot more before it. I think people were very curious about it and it's not something that I talk about. You, oh my God, there's so many noises going on now. My sister, I, I think I'm gonna hire her to clean my canvas again. She um, lives in Asheville and as if you guys heard anything about what has happened in Asheville, it is so sad. I was just there not that long ago and everything is like destroyed there now. My friend Steffi's there as well. And she had just happened to drive up here right before it happened, the flooding and everything. She lost her job. A lot of people lost their job and stuff. So she's trying to earn some money before she goes back down. And she's also like getting some donations to take food down and stuff like that, which is great. So I wanted to give her some sort of job and give her some money before she goes back down to Asheville. I'm sure she'll be able to find work because there's gonna be a need, a lot of like people that know how to do construction and stuff, and that's what she specializes in. So I'm sure she'll be able to find a job, but it's very tragic what happened in Asheville. Like it is a city that I really like, and I was planning on wanting to get land around there. And I don't know, maybe I still will, but it's just, it's really devastating. Right now with the camper, I've been doing a lot of painting and making it look a bit more homey. The main problem, yes, is the canvas. Um, the other comment that I used to get a lot more frequently and I think people wondered about a lot is what happened between I and Haptic. That was a relationship that I had had years ago and it's one that I really kind of publicly sh showed, but just a really bad situation and like I've um, kind of mentioned it here and there vaguely and I'll still be very vague about it. You know, like I I've said before, I just, I do not like those comments on my stuff. I don't even like the name on my stuff, you know what I mean? But moving along, about the canvas here. This this one comment annoys me, not because the person is being malicious in any way, and don't feel bad if you've commented this, it's okay, I'm not bashing you, but I want to explain this one a little bit more. Take the canvas off and save the roof and just put that much wood on top and make it so it doesn't fold down. It's the only way you can save it unless you blah blah blah. This one makes me mad because I've said so many times the whole reason that I got this camper. The whole reason I got this camper is because of these facts. It is a pop-up camper. It is lightweight. It is for a short bed truck. And it's the newest one that I could find for the lowest amount of money. I know, surprise, surprise. I don't know if it's my area or what. And I can still look on Facebook Marketplace and not find a single one in my in my budget, the specifications that I wanted. So that's why I jumped on this one because it was a pop-up because of its aerodynamic nature. I, the Tundra already gets terrible gas mileage. Can you imagine like having a permanent like a uh, truck camper structure, how bad the gas mileage would be on that and how bulky it would be? I'm not ready for that. And I, I don't want to have one of those. I just think that that could be good for like a weekend vacation here and there, but because I'm going to be driving everywhere, I need to save any amount of gas that I can. The canvas situation, yes, it is grim, but I do believe that I can work with it. The canvas itself is not leaking. What has leaked is the roof around the canvas and stuff, and I have sealed it up enough to where it's pretty much done with its leaks. You know, I'm, I'm gonna do a bunch more sealing before we take off, just a final seal around everything. But it's not the canvas that's leaking, it is the droplets that are getting on the canvas that's so creating the mildew. So it does need a, a, another clean. It's not the best in the world, but it's not just purely canvas, vinyl on the outside. Getting something like this remade, and I looked it up, would cost probably like two grand or more. And not only that, again, it annoys me because I don't have the time and finances to do something like that. And so I get, I've been getting so many comments about 
you just need to replace the canvas. Like it's so simple and easy, it's not. To get this canvas off, I'd have to, it would be probably even harder than getting, well, it would be harder than getting like the whole roof off because I'd have to take it up from down here, but then also unscrew it all again. Not that it's all screwed in right now, I'm finished screwing it in. I do think that I can make this work. It won't be the prettiest because it is discolored. I don't really care as long as it's clean enough and it functions and for right now it does. So I just wanted to clear that up about the canvas. I got one of these things. I've never used one before. I'm gonna to try to put it in here and see if it does anything. I do have to try and manage the moisture and stuff in here because even when it does rain and doesn't leak, it still gets a little like damp. And especially whenever you're like sleeping in a camper like this or any type of tent, you do create a lot of like um, condensation. crystals in here. The bag's already wet. <laughs> to be fair, it has been so rainy and so wet. Any structure I feel like would be kind of damp at this point. So the corner here didn't turn out perfect. It has a lot of cracks in it, but it's okay because I'm gonna, it's gonna be kind of covered up. Like the whole theme of this camper is, well, that's kind of not ideal. <laughs> like, whenever you have things that you're not afraid of scratching or that's already kind of beat up a little bit, it does make adventuring a lot better. Like the first couple scratches you get on your overlanding rig is kind of like, oh no! But then it kind of gives you the freedom to not be so scared of eating it up or whatever. And my plans for my lifestyle is to do things and go places that are kind of, you know, prone to beating up your vehicle and I'm not trying to keep anything pristine. Well, isn't it great that I got such a non-pristine camper? I don't have to worry about anything because it's already like, it can't be any worse than when I got it. I kind of stripped everything down style-wise from this camper. I got this off my wish list, so I'm so excited to put these out. I'm not putting them up right now, but I wanted to see if they actually fit because I actually haven't even tried them. Oh yeah. It's a good fit. I don't know if it's going to, how that works. I got two of them, one for this window and then one for, for that window. I'm putting in some tiles. Right here, I'm gonna fill in with some contact paper. So I'm gonna repaint around here and stuff. But this is the green color. And then I'm going to replace the faucet. Fin I'll finish up that. And then the bedroom. The bedroom's gonna be very green. I painted around here green. This is the floor right now and I'm absolutely not scared of getting paint or stuff on it because I'm going to cover it up. My idea for the floor is this. It was quite, it was kind of cheap. I don't know if it's gonna work properly, but it's basically just vinyl, wood looking, just sheets. And it's such a small floor that I don't know if, this should cover it, I think. I don't know if it doesn't, I can just order some more. I ordered a solar kit in the mail, so we're going to install that. I'm going to address a comment that I get the most frequently, and that is the most annoying. And if you do leave this comment, you know that you're being annoying and stop. So I wanna preface reacting to this comment with how I view social media. And we can have a discussion about this. Comment your thoughts below. Like all these are open to your thoughts below in a respectful manner. My core audience is very respectful, thoughtful, and interesting. So don't be afraid to leave comments, but I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts on this as well. My core audience knows that this is something that really annoys me and the people that don't, I want to just tell you that it does and why. I love doing YouTube because I love adventuring and I love showing it with you guys, sharing it with you guys and the wholesomeness of it and the getting away and the escape and all of that stuff I love. I do not like social media because of what it has made us become. The way that you interact with people that are actual human beings, and I am an actual human being, and every person that you see online is a real human being. The anonymity, the anonymity, I don't know if I say that right, has made things so bizarre, hurtful, bad, sad, primitive, terrible. It's crazy. Like as someone who's done YouTube my whole adult life, it's what I've done for my job for so long, I've seen it all. It's given me really negative views on like, kind of like men, just because it's more so a problem with men. And I don't wanna have those negative views anymore. I wanna grow from that. I wanna, you know, focus on the good in the world, the good people. I don't wanna focus on those things. But when these things pop up, does my head in, it really does. But the number one comment that I get that annoys me the most, that I do not wanna get, and if you're looking for that type of thing, I do want you to leave. I am not so desperate for followers that I'd want followers at any cost. I don't. So that comment is, 
where's your OnlyFans? Most of the time it's like, where's the OnlyFans? Like it's just expected, which is so mind boggling to me that you see a woman online and your first thought is, where's her OnlyFans? I don't understand that. I really just, you meet a woman. Oh, hello. Where can I see naked sexualized pictures of you? Or are you doing sexual acts? To a random stranger. It is sad. It is desperate. It is disgusting. I'm sorry. I have a lot of, I have a lot of thoughts on this one. Maybe it's a little vent session, but ew. Ew, go away. It's objectified women. It's made no progress for humanity and it should be all wiped away. That are, That is my thoughts on it. That is my reaction to that comment. I don't care that you can justify it or this or that. I don't care that some women think that it's empowering because it's not. I don't have one. I will never have one. Stop thinking like that. Stop seeing people like that. I have to work extra hard to make sure I'm not being too overly sexual to make people think that I make my living off of that type of, I don't probably get a brand new camper if I did, but I'm not going to. I don't have one and I'll never have one. In more words and more anger, what what I just said and I I understand like I have researched men a lot because they've always been like this baffling thing to me and I do get like the working the the brains work a certain way blah, blah, blah. but do better be better evolve is all I can say and I'm not, I'm not just saying about men I'm saying about women too just the whole scene it just evolve and maybe that is harsh and judgmental of me but I'm like I've always said I'm quite harsh and judgmental as a person I'm not the easiest going person in the world and um, I do try to be a better person when I can. I come across very likable and easygoing and nice and stuff like that online. I don't want to necessarily because it's like I'm not like always like that in real life. I just want to be real with you guys. Next comment, let's bring the mood back. Hate to say it but these fixes are only temporary fixes. You'll be caulking it every year at minimum your self-adhesive trim will fall off within a year, blah, 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 blah. These types of comments, and not necessarily even the topic of that one, I, I mean, I can say that you should be recalking your camper RV every year, especially the older ones. It's just, it's maintenance, and you do have to do it anyways. If this ceiling, the ceiling that I've done last year, I'll be so happy. What I'm saying about these types of comments that's annoying, it's, it's just very negative. Even if they're right, it doesn't matter because like the way that you word things and say things to people, I can tell that that person probably thinks those things in their life with everything that they do. These, there's gonna be problems, there's gonna be issues, like just focusing on the negative of things and making everything so negative. Just don't, like it's discouraging, but I know that anything can be fixed. I have chosen to put myself online, but still it doesn't really warrant such negative responses. Why can't you say the positive things, you know? <laughs> Which again, most of my followers do and I just absolutely adore you guys. I just wanted to get this out of the way before we move on to like our big cool adventures and we have time to kind of talk so I just wanted to. Um, the next videos that are coming up are going to be much more different and interesting. Please get more advice from family before big purchases. Hate seeing you get fleeced. People act like they've never had a judgment error or they've never done something without consulting other, like basically this comment is saying, you should refer to other people who are smarter than you because you make bad decisions. That's what I hear. My dad literally went with me to get this camper. Like people get ripped off all the time. It is a, it is a rite of passage. They just love to say these things online because no one actually knows in their true life how many times they've gotten ripped off. Like, yes, I understand consulting with people and asking people's opinions and I do do that but it's an insult to my intelligence and myself to be like, you should consult with blah, blah, blah. But most of the time I'm doing this stuff for myself. My family is not that involved in my life at all. People see a certain side of things online, but they don't actually know what it's like in real, real life. And there's a reason that I do a lot of the things I do by myself because it's the only way I can do it. So like, don't just assume these things. I'm, I know that person meant no offense. When did you get so vain? I really like to be self-aware. I do think social media has attributed a lot to that. Not only that, just self-worth issues growing up as a child and things like that. I am a pretty vain person and kind of almost because I have to because I am on camera a lot. I see myself so often and then I hear so much criticism and critiques from people online. So I think having this job of social media is a blessing. It's really good in a lot of ways, but there's also things that come along with it. And I think that social media has made our generation and people in general more vain, shallow, narcissistic. I'm not gonna deny that I don't put a lot of focus on looks and aesthetics, because I do. I'd say I probably got vain as a child. The only compliment I can ever, ever remember getting is you're pretty. And that was before I got like, disfigure acne. I think I just placed my worth on it, which is something I'm working on. And it's something that, you know, I struggle with, but I am self-aware about. I'm not even mad about that comment. These types of comments 
about feet. I just think are gross. Stop being weird. You need a shrink is what you need. You have so many red flags for a man. They would stretch for miles. I think it's annoying because it's just negative for no reason. I've done so much work on myself and I think we're all trying to work on ourselves and this and that, but it's, that's just, it's unnecessary. Like the red flags you're talking about is probably just appearance wise because you don't know me well enough to make those claims, I guess. And that kind of ties into the next comment, which is, oh, when you said you hate it and this was a mistake, I thought you meant those ratchet tattoos. <laughs> that Those types of comments annoy me, not because I think that people need to enjoy my tattoos or like them. I have no opinion on them. I don't, they're, I'm very neutral towards tattoos. I don't care about them at all and I don't really see them. I do have a lot of them throughout the years of decorating, I guess, but it's like, obviously those are permanently on my body. Like there's no point in commenting those types of things. The, these people do that just for like a reaction or make you feel bad. And I think it's a very strange thing to do to a stranger or someone you don't know is to just go out of your way to say something really negative and mean for no reason. Like, it doesn't affect me in the way that they would probably want it to. I don't think, oh, I just regret my tattoos. I just don't care about them and I don't see them. If, if someone's gonna judge me based on the decoration that I have on my body, then they're probably not gonna be able to keep up or put up with the other things about me as a person either. So I can assure you with these types of comments, like, I know for a fact a man could love me, guys, okay? I know for a fact. So those things don't offend me when, when pe random people say those because I think it says a lot more about them than it does say about me. And then obviously the comments saying like, shoulda, woulda, coulda comments. I don't have any specific ones, but like I get a lot of, you shoulda done this, you shoulda done that, whenever it's too late. I know that you're wanting to say your opinion and state the obvious, but we're, we've moved past that. Like read, read the situation. I think the most annoying comments to me are not necessarily people's opinions or what they think and this and that it's it's that they're very not self-aware very like childish almost and primitive and, and unevolved it's weird to me that people leave these types of comments because they don't think like people aren't thinking i just really value intelligence in people a lot of my time with my friendships and relationships and stuff i communicate a lot a lot of talking to, you know and um i'm kind of eyeballing this to be honest this right here is what I'm going to basically do to the, the wall cushions. This is just a small version of it. And this one turned out the worst. Obviously it's, it's kind of uneven. They're gonna have like map design on them right along here. I don't even care anymore if my videos are too long. I don't wanna rush. So cute. That is so nice. So I wanted to let you guys know what to expect in the next month or coming weeks. And I'm very excited for it. Well, however this camper turns out is however it's gonna turn out. I'm taking it out anyways, and it's gonna be at least mediocre. And I'm hoping by the end of the month, the main thing is getting the solar, resealing it, and getting Starlink, maybe. I'm still questioning that because it is very expensive. They have a mini one out now, and it is $600 just for the hardware and then $165 a month. I don't know how to feel about that yet. You guys know I need it if you guys have watched my other videos. Once we get that all ready, I am going to start the journey out westward. I want to go to Vancouver, but I obviously don't have time to do that. It's too cold now. So we're gonna go out west, be out there as long as we can find the warmth. Whenever it starts to get too cold out there, we're gonna head down to Mexico. I don't know if this thing will make it there, but that is a goal. It's gonna get a lot more adventuresome around here. This is kind of the quiet before the storm, I hope. I mean, these are my plans and you're not supposed to say your plans out loud if it doesn't happen that way you guys know something will happen i don't want to focus on the negative people and the bad comments i just want to encourage people to think you know before they leave things online just in general at the end of the day it's not that serious everything is pretty silly and we're all just kind of flopping around doing our thing there's there's really no right way also i wanted to say in the next video, I think it'll be the next video, I'm gonna be selling my Jeep. So keep an eye out if you want to buy it. I'm going to have it available nationwide on eBay. You'll have to obviously travel to get it, but I'm gonna have it available for all my followers to bid on because I would really would like to go to someone who can appreciate it as much as I have. It's the last leg of the camper renovations and going into the adventure mode now. Stay extraterrestrial. All right, goodbye. See you next time.